Hi, I today am at Stirling Castle. I came out here, a friend of mine um, was ill, so I came out to bring her a few things. So I thought, oh, how are we boogie up with Robert the Bruce in, on, on Stirling Castle? Um, so I was just right here in front of the statue. It's Robert the Bruce, very important part of Scottish history. Woohoo, Brucey! That's him right up there. It's raining and it's kind of sunny at the same time. Typical, <laughs> typical Scotland. Um, so I didn't have um, a very, very half an hour far away. I'm much more than 15 minute run from my house. So um, I uh, was dancing with my umbrella. I felt a little bit like a Philadelphia bummer. <laughs> it's pretty pretty easy. Um, that aside, I still managed to get a, por a large portion of my body soaking wet. Uh, so that will be lots of fun going on the train home to Glasgow. Uh, it's uh, typical Scottish weather. It's kind of sunny over there, and it's uh, kind of sunny back there, and it's kind of windy right here. <laughs> Had two of the Visit Scotland people from Stirling Castle come and, uh, and say, you're the woman who dances on the Brumala. Yeah, great, brilliant. You've totally cheered me up. Uh, Rochelle and John. Um, and uh, and so that that was that was fab. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that word had gotten through to Sterling about my my morning dancing activities. So that's cool. So it wasn't a very long dance day because the weather is pretty abysmal, and I am largely soaked at the minute. But it was kind of cool to dance with Robert the Bruce. <laughs> and why not? I ask you. It's a very important part of Scottish history, so I should. Little bit of I think he'd appreciate it, and wherever he is in the cosmos. Um, so that's uh, that's the extent of it. So I'm gonna take my soggy rear home now, and uh, see you today. Let's see Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow somewhere. Bye.